once again, a UFO has landed in America. The only country UFOs ever seem to land in. The Monsters vs. Aliens is the first film to use all of these tools to author a movie in it and to um, exhibit a movie. Uh, you know, we've had to get out there and be cheerleaders. So the fact that it was as a story and homage to the 1950s movies, which is where 3D was first introduced, is just an accident. The fact that it has the scale of the characters that you talk about, an accident. I would like to tell you we were that smart and planned all of these things. We're not, and we didn't. Humans of Earth, my quest has led me to your planet. Give it to me now! You should in no way take any of this personally. It's just business. Galaxy are out. We've offered our filmmakers a whole nother dimension to work in, and so the visualization of that story, um, you know, offered them a whole set of unique challenges and at the same time unique opportunities to you know create a more immersive experience you know this is an extraordinary innovation it's not a cheap trick anymore it's been reinvented to the 21st century and it's like comparing a horse and buggy to a ferrari mm -hmm. you know if you think about it they they all they both run on horsepower they both got wheels other than that they don't share much in common somebody think of something and think of it Mr. President, we need a Hail Mary pass. We need raw power. We need monsters. Are you worried that somehow the... No, uh, whatever you're going to say, <laughs> I'm not worried. No, I, I think just the opposite. It's, it's, you know, there's been great progress made internationally. But what do you think would be the main challenge in trying to get everybody to embrace the uh, concept of 3D cinema? Nothing, just to have a couple of hits. That'll take care of it. <laughs> Hot dogs! <laughs>